To draw the Lewis structure for H3S+, plus, this is a sulfonium ion, we first need to count up the valence electrons. So hydrogen that's in group 1 on the periodic table, that'll have one valence electron. We have three hydrogen atoms, though. Then for the sulfur, that's in group 16, sometimes called 6A. That'll have 6. But when we come to this positive sign up here, we have to figure out what that means. So imagine this. If you're positive, that means you've lost a negative charge. So if this structure loses an electron, which are negative, it'll become positive. So we need to lose one electron. So when we do that, we have 3 plus 6. That's 9 minus 1, total of 8 valence electrons for this H3S plus Lewis structure. We'll put the sulfur in the middle of the Lewis structure. Then the hydrogens, they're always going to go on the outside of Lewis structures. It doesn't matter really where you put them, top or bottom. Next, we'll start putting pairs of electrons between the atoms. When we do that, we're forming the chemical bond between the sulfur and the hydrogen atoms. So we get here, and each hydrogen now has two electrons. So because of that, the hydrogens, they're full. Sulfur only has six, but we have two more electrons. Let's complete the octet on the sulfur atom. And this is the Lewis structure for H3S positive. Usually you'll see brackets put around a Lewis structure like this. Then we'd write a positive sign on the outside. Note each hydrogen, that has two, so those are good. And then that central sulfur, that has an octet. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for H3S plus, the sulfonium ion. Thanks for watching.